What's going on guys? So I'm uh, I'm back. I'm recording a YouTube video on uh, GoPro. So I sold my other uh, camera so you guys will be seeing just the videos on my GoPro and obviously um, you guys will be seeing the moto vlogs on my AGV helmet right there. So yeah guys, um, I'm just making this quick video because I want to show you guys the unboxing of my new um, Dionese Gore-Tex uh, boots. So I literally just, um, I just ordered them like two days ago and they came in like really fast. So I'm super proud of uh, Revzilla. Um, if you guys are watching this, which I highly doubt it, thank you guys for the uh, boots. They look, I, I don't even know how they look yet, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're gonna look sick. Um, as you can see, I'm really excited. So uh, let's just get it, let's just get into it, guys. All right, guys, so this is the box that it comes in. As you can see, it's Dionese, and uh, I got these in a size 43. The size 43 is a size 10 in men. So I'm a size nine and a half, so I just got a size 10 just to be uh, on the safe side. So this is just that. And then it comes with this nice little cloth. Oh, dang. Dang, these things look nice. Hold up. Oh, look at that. Oh, they look clean. Oh, dang, look, this looks super soft right here. And then just like the quality of the shoe. It's like a it's like a sneaker slash boot. Like it looks really cool guys. Um in person, yeah, this looks super dope. And then the cool thing about them is that it has this like the Italian colors right here, just like the AGV helmet. It has the Gore-Tex right there on the side, and then on the back it has the uh Dionese logo right there and then the bottom is obviously just like that because um, usually I mean you're not going to be wearing them just to like walk around in but they do look like they're pretty comfortable and um, yeah let's check the other one out it's going to be the same boom that's the other one right there so as you can see I'm only putting them on the bed because I'm pretty sure nobody has worn these so because they're like new so yeah that's how they look guys um they look pretty sick i'm gonna go ahead and put them on and then i'll show you guys how they look okay guys so excuse the shorts but these are the uh, uh the shoes right here they feel really comfortable um i'm not wearing any socks but they do um fit me really well so my toe is like right there um so yeah if you guys are a size nine and a half i would say just do a size 43 so you can get a size 10 and then they should fit comfortable obviously you don't want to get your boots to be too uh or your shoes to be too tight um but yeah that's how they look on me what's going on guys so i'm here with jose um we're trying to see if his bike uh leaks so he just got an r1 and uh unfortunately he did kind of crashed a little bit um so it's leaking a little bit down there as you can see the oil is leaking um <clears throat> so we just wanted to see if it was still leaking we kind of tightened it right now but it's not it's not working so we're just gonna go back and uh yeah guys i'll just do a little walk around this is my r1 right here uh and yeah mine is uh, mine is leaking too as you can see down there but yeah let's go back What? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so I can't write today then. Nah. Hell no. Nah, it's still leaking like a bitch. No, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take off those carbon fiber things. And then I'm either gonna leave them off for right now until I fix them and then just like put them and then just tighten it like that. Because it's leaking a lot too. Yeah. Might as well honestly do the gas case like eight dollars. Yeah? Or the gas case. For sure. The problem is when we take it off, won't the oil all leak out? We have to put new oil in, no? Yeah. Unless I think so. Might fucking tilt it. Yeah. I don't know. I never done that. I was trying to find videos but they're on their older bikes. 
Oh yeah? I don't really know what to do. It should be the same process. When you get it we can uh we can probably do it. I'll just come through. So your house. Yeah. So this is Jose's bike. You guys aren't seeing it in its full glory, but this is how uh, he got. Well, this is what he got. He got a anniversary edition um, Yamaha R1 2015, just like mine, 2015, huh? Oh, this is 2016. Damn. So this is a 2016. Um, the mods that it has, it has AGV levers. Um, it has this uh, sick. Um, See, I forgot. Oh, Saddle Man, I think it was. So, Saddle Man C, it's super comfy. It's like super cushiony. Um, and then also these aftermarket like carbon fiber looks right here, accents. Um, and it's uh, it has a Graves exhaust, sounds really dope. And then um, that's pretty much it for like all the mods and stuff. It's not super modified. But yeah, this is how she's sitting right now. She's gonna get sold. So if you guys want to uh, buy it, um, I'll put his Instagram on the description down here. And uh, yeah, guys, we did trade our uh, our discs. So he got my old ones, and I got the other black ones just to murder out the look. So as you can see. But yeah, if you guys are trying to buy it. Make sure you guys message Jose. And then, uh, okay, okay. And then I'll do a separate video on a separate walk around on my bike. But for now, we're just gonna probably have to call it a day since both of our bikes are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Damn. All right, guys. Peace out. What is going on, guys? So. I'm gonna show you guys just a quick little walk around of my Yamaha R1 so as you guys can see from my last videos um, it's changed a lot and it's been a drastic amount of modifications done to it so like I'm just gonna go ahead and um, breeze through the modifications real quick just because we're about to head out so um, uh, right off the bat Obviously the bunny ears, they are completely gone. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, it is. We're, we're gonna go back home right now because we're gonna, I'm gonna help him wrap his bike right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna go back right now because we I just came to his house. Yeah. yeah. I'll see you there. Okay. Bye. I'll just let you guys enjoy the beautiful afternoon and the beautiful sound of the Yamaha R1.